Hello and welcome back to RIP Superchargers and thanks for stopping by. To my right here is a 2018 Ram Rebel. Uh, those of you who know uh, a Rebel and the packaging that comes with it, it's basically Ram's Rubicon. So uh, those of you familiar with our Jeep program know that we do a lot of Wrangler stuff and uh, we go off road and we own Wranglers and we take them up on mountains and all sorts of stuff. And those of you who have RIP products probably do that too. However, the Ram product, uh, the Rebel specifically, is catered to those who are looking to do that with a full-size vehicle. Maybe tow their camper and then take their vehicle out on some adventures. I mean, it's not as, you know, versatile as a, as a small little Wrangler in comparison to this vehicle. However, it is off-road. In this particular package, it comes with 392 gearing, the 8-speed transmission, the 845RE, and the vehicle is powered by a V6 Pentastar. Those of you know, who know Rams know that there's a badge missing here and you're wondering why it's missing. It's because this vehicle doesn't have the beloved 5.7 Hemi and uh, that's cool. Uh, so we want you to hang out and show you what this vehicle could do. Now, uh, the Rebel is a very special vehicle because it comes with some off-road stuff, some skid plates. It's cosmetically uh, you know, catered a, a little bit nicer. It's got some nicer bumpers and some skid plates. And this one happens to have air suspension, which goes up and down. Comes with 33s, which is pretty cool. And again, like I said, the 392 gearing, which gives you the ability to run a larger tire uh, quicker. Now, configured the way it's configured, this vehicle can actually tow 7,700 pounds. I'm gonna slow down here for a second because 7,700 pounds is, is a lot of weight, right? And how can that little V6 do it? Well, that's because of that eight-speed transmission, which we so love, right? Because we've had the same transmission in the cars, and we've made that 500 horsepower number, and we know that the transmission can handle that power, right? So we're basically here to tell you that this is a pretty good contender if you're looking for value compared to, let's say, a Gladiator, right? If you're going to buy a Gladiator and you want a Jeep, right? Uh, so that's cool. Uh, but uh, they tow about the same and they have the same drivetrain and the same transmission and the numbers are kind of there. So those of you looking for like an easy way to get into something cool, this might be a way to do it. It's just an argument between friends. I don't want to start any sort of debate. Just a really good value. In this particular case, I happened to have purchased this vehicle and I found it on a lot with 53 miles on it as a leftover because nobody wanted a V6. But knowing what I know, knowing what we know, and knowing what we're going to show you, we know this is a pretty good value if you spend a couple of bucks on making the V6 a little bit more powerful. Right now, this vehicle is completely stock. It has 750 miles on it. It drives great. It drives every day. As a matter of fact, you can see all the dirt on it. It's a cold day here in New York. It snowed the other day. No problem, obviously. So essentially all we want to do is show you what it makes naturally aspirated. So you guys know what we are baselining with. So we're going to make a pass. We'll show you what it makes naturally aspirated. That'll be our baseline. And from here on out, anything that we do to it from RIP will be the improvements. So give me a sec, make some noise, come back at the dyno, okay? Looks about right. All right, let's see what we got here. 239.7 horsepower at the rear wheels, and there's that weird dip I always talk about. If you're familiar with our videos, we always do the same. We look at these naturally aspirated vehicles, we make these passes, and all of them, the cars, the Jeeps, and the SUVs, and now the full-size truck, have the same thing, this weird dip right here, which is probably in the cam profile or in the tuning someplace, so who knows. But Everything else seems very consistent with the other V6s that we've done, the Pentastars rather. So you can see here we got that 240 number, which seems to be the magic number in all of them. Doesn't matter the tire size, the transmission, it doesn't matter. And uh, the torque is about the same as well, about 220, 225. It's nearly 230 here, but again, we're in that power band range. 
which proves that the engines are super consistent and that we're working with a great platform. And whether it has 50,000 miles, 150,000 miles, or 750 miles, they seem to be holding themselves together. And that's great, right? You really want, when you're investing into one of these vehicles, you want an engine that stays consistent through all those years in which you own it. And this vehicle seems to prove that. So the next time you'll see this vehicle, right, you'll see it with a, um, we're probably going to do the coils, I think. Right? I think that's where we're going to go with this. I think we're going to do the ignition coils to re-demonstrate that 12 to 15 horsepower we seem to be gaining in our RIP performance coils. And those, those of you who don't know that product yet, there's videos that we did with a RAM showing that horsepower gain with an ignition, ignition coil. And then additionally, we did the same vehicle within a RIP supercharger. So uh, I guess you guys should stay tuned, check us out, and uh, hopefully make some new friends in that full-size RAM world and uh, pick it up from there. Thanks for stopping by.